Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about two OG Fortnite players, Symphony and Chap. Now these two didn't really seem like they were competitive players anymore, at least until yesterday when they went on an absolute tear in the Fortnite Championship Series Grand Finals. Seriously guys, I don't know if you've seen their highlights, but they went off yesterday proving that they still got it. We're also going to be covering the huge bomb that Fortnite dropped on us yesterday after the Fortnite Championship Series, and that bomb is that trios are gone. The next big tournament is going to be squads. And you guys know what that means. It's snake season. You won't believe the new squads that are being formed. For example, Mongrel and Benji Fishy dropped Mitro. That's right, guys. They dropped him for two other players, and one of those players is not Mr. Savage. You won't believe who the new squad is. You're gonna have to stay tuned for that in the video. Now, real quick guys do me a huge favor drop a like on this video every like really helps support the channel and the more likes we get the more news i can push out for you guys but now let's jump into it and let's begin the video off with this crazy news coming out from epic games you won't believe this guys they tweeted this out earlier today we're making improvements to matchmaking beginning an update v10.4 and inside this update they said this in the 10.40 update we are introducing improved matchmaking logic to the battle royale core modes to create fairer matches what does this mean you will be more likely to match with players of similar skill and as you get better so should your opponents we will slowly roll this out to all regions across Battle Royale core modes as we test and monitor how it performs. We're excited to get this out for everyone to play with and we'll continue to update the system. We will update you when it's fully live across all regions to get your feedback as you try it out. I think this is actually a really good update and something that should have happened a long time ago because now new players don't have to go up against really good players randomly, they'll be going against other newbies so they get a chance to learn the game. But guys, this was followed by a crazier announcement. They said this, bots. In the next season, we are adding bots to Fortnite. They will behave similarly to normal players and will help provide a better path for players to grow in skill. Bots work in conjunction with the new matchmaking system and as your skill improves, you'll face fewer bots. Bots will not be present in competitive playlists. This is another system that we will continue to update and iterate. Holy crap, I actually think this might be really good for us. If there's one thing Epic Games loves doing, that's adding really stupidly broken items into the game, like the Infinity Blade, like the mech, in order for new and bad players to get kills and enjoy the game more. But now, since these new players and bad players are going to go up against bots, it's going to be much easier for them to get kills and even win games and improve at a faster rate. So hopefully this is what this means for us guys. I am praying. Let me know what you think about the bots down below in the comments. But now let's move on and let's talk about Chap who went off yesterday getting a crazy one pump on Zayt in order to win the first game. Let's roll it. We watch Zayt double back. Gonna pick up some loot on the outside, but all the way on the ultimate high ground. The most established tarp right now, Chap, Vivid, Sizzlucky, having the top down on everybody else. Top eight, top eight, another round of placement points going through. Calculator, I think, just missed out on that unless any of his teammates are still up. Knifer also going down. What season is it? Saf and Zay still up and running. Vivid and Chap on the high ground with Sis Lucky. Bring yeah, it going back. For it. Season three, season four. Zay challenges up. They have high ground now. We've seen what they can do with it. The shockwave brilliantly done. Hits one pump. Hits the second, but return fire. Chap says liquid up. Picks up one. Picks up two. And the ghost duo goes down. Zay goes down. Top five, six elims, and no one is even close to them. They aren't threatened anymore. That was the last retake. This trio playing out of their minds right now. Love to see it. Shots down from above. A little bit of pressure. They're looking up top. You hear that shockwave sound. They both, they all of them instinctually just look straight up into the air. Stowe polarized on the outside. Polarized picking up that elim. Mega still in this as well. Down to three trios remaining. Looking at the very final eliminations of this game. Ken, Chap, Vivid, and Sis Lucky establish dominance and take this first game of the NA East Finals. We will see here in a moment. Shots from above still. Just looking to see if they can find a beat on somebody. Chap holding the high ground as the others on the trail. Oh, Inspire just clutched the 1v2. Here we go, looking for a shot. 
a 1v3 situation. The drop-in, Inspire goes down, and Chap, Vivid, and Sis Lucky take home the first victory royale. Again, Chap straight up proving why he is still one of the best players in the game. That was Zay and Saf. And we know how good they are. Chap completely shut him down even when Zay got the first shot on his back. Unreal gameplay, and it did not stop there. Because moving on to game two, Vivid popped off, and he completely wrecked five people back to back all alone. Let's roll it. Total now. He's going to look back, a chance to hit some tags on players that are rotating along the same path. He just went, maybe a little bit of peek there, sees it. Yep, shots, finds the hit. The elimination for Vivid, the first for his, but three total for the team. We're at 14 trails now. Two more full teams need to go down. One more as Zexro, Fiber, multiple players going down. Two from Tifu's trio get eliminated as well. The full squad gone now. 13 trios sitting in this game. Eclipse fell and that was it. So Eclipse and crew missed their placement points. Says Lucky going down, so it's Vivid being the last remaining winner to try and repeat. Stuck in the trees, knocked down again. Zero mats. What play can be made? Into the bubble shield. Tyler goes down. He finds another one. Back to back for Vivid, but he needs to be able to get the knocks. One conversion comes through. Using the bubble shield to make sure he keeps the rest of the lobby on the right side. Turns back. Bubble shield still defending the player. After the 2014, Edison down. Finds a third. Vivid pushes himself into the top 10 he only gets five of the max though split off 17 players left 10 vivid finds it falter goes down the siphon being the difference 30 hp 20 tick and not enough as blake picks it up outside the top eight but a brilliant effort wow incredible plays coming out there from vivid and specifically for him we still knew he was good because he was popping off hard in the fortnite world cup and the qualifiers but for like chap and symphony it seems like it's been over a year since they've done really good in tournaments and i know the community forgot how good they were specifically symphony because he went off yesterday guys his trio went into game four with only three total points guess what in those last three games they ended up finishing over 50 points getting top 10 and it was off the back of symphony's clutch play let's go ahead and roll it but oce the champion zore parpy jolling up on high they're looking down look at this reverse slack symphony they're running around on the mid-ground top Tarp, you've got Tossley just one layer down below. Simp sitting on 20 bills. He's got the blue pump, man. He just has to get in your face, and he will down you immediately. He's got it out. He's looking for the shot. He wants to try and pressure as much as possible. There you go. That's Vivido, of all people. So he's going to bet you 200 effective. Another shot rings out, Monster. Not a drop, though. They're still just cruising. Symphony is popping off right now. He's already picked up a couple. He's actually going to bring Jalen and Zora from the high ground down. Jalen goes down, and now he's just going to whip it around and try and find another. It looks like Parpy's finally come down. He's got to back his teammate up. He gets the trade. Symphony v. Zora in the 1v1, and he actually wins the engagement right there by landing all of his shots. Absolutely incredible. Shout out to Symphony. Off that campfire and Big Pot as well to see exactly how the server was developing underneath him. Now Symphony though, in these developments, is going to be getting big tags, still has a slurp as well. Um, he wasn't applying pressure, he wasn't rotating, he was waiting and, and looking for edits at this point. Spades knocked right there, a little bit of damage, gets knocked to the storm, a big pickup for Symphony here in a second. So that's going to come on through. Schneider, knocked eliminated. We're looking at 100 HP Siphon waiting to happen. Where's the follow-up 50? Another one, 50. 155 still ticking up here. Solid positioning, gonna drop down to the ultimate low ground. Symphony and crew in a 1v. Oh, and you hate to see it the very last second. It's so dense down at the bottom, and Symphony and Reverse are holding it down for this trio. Keep your eyes on the feed in the top left. Mega picking Chap off on the move, that knockdown, and there's gonna be no way that that follows through. Clicks goes down. Symphony with attack spray from above, quick edits and walling off to maintain an HP advantage, trying to stay on this rotation. There's a shield bubble he can use as the defense measure. Doesn't have to get into a big fight inside the box with anybody. There's the siphon from Clicks, but he's stuck outside the storm. He's got to move up his 13 trios. One more needs to go down, and then we're in placement. Kev is found. Dubs eliminated. Animal eliminated. We have so many players landing directly on top of each other, and Symphony down to 20 HP is going to tick out on the storm. Wow, guys. Symphony is an absolute beast. In those three last games, he made it to the late game and got multiple kills all by himself 
getting his team to the placement points. If it wasn't for Symphony, they would have been nowhere near the top 10, so huge plays coming out from him. Now, this tournament ended up being super close. Taking a look at the North American East standings, you can see that Vivid and his trio finished in second place at 70 points, then Zexro and his trio won the entire thing with 71. It was a one point difference. Now let's go ahead and roll the end of this game where Vivid's team and Zexro's team are both alive. And Vivid and Sizlucky still inside this game. What a huge play there. Finds Calculator, one of the highest ranked players thus far. Sebi goes down. Vivid, Vivid still feeding off of everyone still making moves. Yup, eight people left alive. Four trios left though. Another one goes down. Kez once again down at low ground, just how he was in one of the last games. No teammates available though. The whole J Sword trio's up top. We see a huge shockwave. Someone knocked off the entire mountain, finding his way back in. Sis Lucky, no brush available this time, but he's being sneaky at the bottom with an infantry rifle. Has the pump with a lot of damage. One build left as well. Painful takes out Snood on the top. We're going to be seeing a lot of things going on on two different layers. Three trios still left. One placement point for non-victory still available too. Sis Lucky now playing very, very patiently. There's a chance here if Sis Lucky clutches this up. They can push from third all the way to the top, and it's a 1v3 situation. Sis Lucky stuck in the fight of his life as rockets come down from above. There might be a chance. Still tries to find the hit, and he cannot do it. Second place for the trio as Tyler's. Wow, that was incredible, and it just shows you guys how close it really was. One more point there for Sis Lucky, and his team would have gotten first place. One kill, one placement, anything extra. Oh, it was such an amazing event, guys. And then Epic Games, they dropped this huge announcement on the stream at the end. Let's roll it. And the final thing is, for you trios out there, you better find yourself a fourth, because the next round of FNCS competition will be squads. Till next time, Fortnite fam, we'll see you guys on the Battle Bus. Yup, that's right guys, squads are coming and you won't believe some of the teams that are being developed right now. They are absolutely insane. We'll just go ahead and start off with this one from North American East featuring our champions of yesterday. Let's see who they added to their three-man roster. Obviously, we have Zexro, we have Macwood, and Young Calculator, and now this tweet was posted earlier today by Klix. Announcing my squad as Zexro, Calc, and Macwood insane guys this trio i'm sorry this squad is going to be one of the best in the game without a doubt but we have another squad being developed in north american east that is going to give this team a run for their money and that's going to be the world cup champion booga tweeting this out announcing my squad as zay saf and stretched oh man this is going to be really good. But something I am worried about is whether or not these squads are going to stick together long term. Because we seen when trios were first announced, Clicks, Booga, Saf, Zate, they were switching up trios left and right. For example, Clicks started off with Dubs and Mega, then he went with Sway and Tifu, and eventually with Crims and Spades, who he did have success with. Then we saw Booga, he had Bizzle, Dubs, then eventually ended up with Stretch and Clarity, and then Saf and Zate they played with a few different three as well. They were initially playing with Bizzle before Bizzle left to go with Booga. Then they ended up playing with Zypha. So it's all over the place. And again, I feel like these squads might end up switching before the tournaments come. Now let's move on to the craziest squad announcement of all of them. We have Mongrel tweeting this out earlier today, which was a little teaser of who their new squad was going to be. And most of the community assumed it was going to be Mr. Savage joining them because Mongrel did tweet out way when trios were announced and he said he was playing with Benji and Mitro that their official squad would include Mr. Savage. But guess what guys, it did not, and they actually dropped Mitro. So without further ado, let's go ahead and reveal it. We have Mongrel and Benji Fishy adding on Stompy, one of the best players in all of EU, and then Aqua, the Fortnite World Cup duos champion. Also something to note, Stompy and Aqua just won the Fortnite Championship Series yesterday with Shankin. So they dropped Shankin, which by the way, Stompy and Shankin have had so much success together as well. So Shankin and Mitro kind of getting the raw end of the deal here so these two power duos can form together. Now most of the community was absolutely shocked 
reading this announcement from Mongrel, so Mongrel had to tweet this out. There is no bad blood. No hate between anyone at all. We all felt this was right for us, and trust me, I wouldn't leave Mitro in a bad position. He will have a god squad. This is just crazy, man. As Mitro would say, I am shocked that he is not going to be playing with Mongrel and Benji. I know they had a hiccup in the Fortnite Championship Series yesterday, but they dominated the qualifiers every single week. I really thought they would have just brought on Mr. Savage, but they made the best team possible in their opinions, and I, I have to agree with them. Aqua and Stompy are insane and they are clutch and that's what matters. You need to win in the very end. Oh, it's been a long video guys. Thank you so much for watching it. Let me know down below what you think about the squads, the bots, and of course Chap and Symphony coming back. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy my content, do me a favor, slap a like on it, and also do not forget to subscribe for more daily videos. That's it for me guys. I'm out of here. Peace.